about this game but I wanna wanna try it I wanna try it I wanna try it and see if it's as bad as this thing it is when we're unlimited we sync uh, not on uh, motion player gonna fill the view very high isn't something ultra ultra yes uh, oh. audio you have to be zero because copy wise uh, yes uh, semantic subtitle I think that subtitle in the cutscene wise I guess yeah cutscenes uh, the bass damn it passing Tooltip damage passing. Oh, it even says what it is on us. Select whether you prefer to see the start showing at the top right of a weapon tooltip as DPS dam or damage. DPS shows how much damage the weapon can do cause per second when constantly firing. If all pressure hit. This does not factor in reload time and magazine size. Damage shows how much damage the weapon can cause while with a single shot if all pressure hit. So we can choose between damage and the best. Hmm. I actually prefer damage over the best. Uh, the best is good with machine guns and stuff like that, but uh, damage is a lot better if you just took guns and weapons in all. So I'd rather just have damage than the best. Um what? Dialogue choices don't appear until the speaker Yeah, thank you, I want that. I hate when you can uh take the fucking dialogue option before he's even done speaking. Uh that's nice. Uh aiming what? Showing the aiming was in the hood. Aiming only with what all time fades way marker in the outline outline notification duration companion outline of course companion outlines like so I can see them through balls or is it just a extra outline around them show an outline around companion so they uh, stand out from the NPCs no, 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 just, just off. Just make it more, uh, what you call it, um, immersive by turning off. Area names. Level up reminder. I think that's it. Uh, new game. And we're gonna play story. On, on, on. Just continue. Uh, then I need something to doing. Ugh. God damn, I feel like I'm old. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with what guaranteed full employment. What does this sound like fallout? You will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Sounds so much like fallout.
mad scientist. They have to be the mad scientist. Who are you looking for? Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Isn't that him that make uh, voices to the old uh, from uh, Fallout uh, 3? Uh, uh, okay, let's check, check out that. a lot of info here. I'll I like how much info that I hear. Well, to see that in RPG games. Uh, so we have strength. Strength is the how strong you are, or your body, uh, your muscles, and your body. So let's see what do you get with strength. Uh, strength effect melee weapons. Of course they do because you are stronger. So you melee weapons you hit stronger. Strength should not uh, uh, make so you shoot harder because that don't make any fucking sense uh, because just because you're strong you cannot pull the trigger harder <laughs> so to speak uh, so strength to only be melee weapon and how much you can bear, carry uh, how long you can run with also part of your stamina but it, that should also be part of your strength because you're stronger you are uh, you more stamina you also have of course uh, what else uh, how Heavy things you can uh, lift and stuff like that. So let's see, strength effect, melee weight damage, and the amount you can carry. Of course, that's logical. Effect is kill one hand melee, two hand melee. Also, if you get strong enough, the two hand melee should be so you can use it in one hand. I mean, if you're super strong, that could be really really cool. Uh, I don't. Oh, I have played one game. You could do that. I cannot remember which game I played. But you, if you get strong enough, you could take the two hand melee and hold it in one hand and use it as a one hand melee. It will really awkward to do so, but so but you can have a one a two hand melee in one hand and then a shield and be unstoppable. <laughs> uh, heavy weapons, uh, block, inspiration, imitate, imitate, imita imitation. Of course, uh, you people get more imitated. Uh, imitated. Imit Imitate, in, 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 intimate, intimidated, <laughs> intimidated. Um, uh, you look like a body builder. Body, body, body builder. I cannot speak today. A body builder. Uh, melee zero damage. Carry uh, eighty kilograms. That's also a lot of stuff. Eighty kilograms. So I should probably go up in strength so I can carry more stuff. Uh, where's the shield? Yeah, how precise you are. Like when you're using arrows and also with your melee stuff and with your uh, magic. I don't know if it's, is the magic in this game. If there were magic in this game, and if you used uh, guns, uh, machine guns on a shield or something like that, the the dexterity is how precise you're shooting are more or less. Uh, the sterilities affect melee attack speed. Uh, does it also? Normal? Isn't. Isn't Vestality more the speed? No, 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 not really the speed. Shouldn't the strength be the speed actually when you think about it? Because you're stronger, you are, you more vitality you have, and more vitality you have, you faster you can. Or are you getting slower when you get the strength because of your body getting bigger? Hmm. Maybe you, the smaller you are, the faster you can be? I don't know. Um, and range weapon reload speed. Effective skill, one hand in melee. Handguns, dodge, block, sneak, lockpick. Uh, that's usually mana, but I don't, f I don't think uh, that is uh, magic in this game. Uh, so you have something like this is again how smart you are. So except this is heading hacking, there's something about uh, how intelligent you are because you are with coding to do. So you smarter you are, you better you are with codes and stuff like that. So 
everything from computers and co coke <laughs> cooks <laughs> cooks <laughs> coke uh, co- coats and uh, you know it will be technical term that's why they say medical because that will take no science or will be technical so you have to be smart to know about that I pursued there uh, with I don't know what that is can you see what that is no I'm not sure what that is and determination uh, I don't know if determination have anything to do with being smart I think that have more to do about uh, stubbornness um, the more stubborn you are the more the more determined the determined determined you are or oh, I think so and quintessence damage shouldn't quintessence damage be part of the stability we have the stability have better the quintessence damage is uh, perspe- perspective that's how you see things you know uh, how you see the world how you see the things around you is there any hidden secret places and stuff like that yes perspective they also uh, how you see if you like can see a gun and know exactly how it built uh, you can see how it built in front of you that's perspective more than. Uh, effect headshots that should also be the stack stag- theory is with me. Or no. Weak point damage. Unless you can see it. You can see the where you hit to hit I don't know. Uh handguns, long guns, heavy weapon, dodge, lock pick, engineering. Hmm. Charm, let's see what that is. Uh Charm is how uh, it's more like a smooth talker, how much people like you, the way you talk, the way you are as a person. The higher charm you have, are, the better people are, uh, what to call, uh, pulled by you, or what, what is it called when the people like one person? Anyway, how much they love you, how much they care about you uh, from the first time. If you have really low charm, <laughs> charm charm then uh, people gonna hate you as soon as they see you because you have just something or you that make them hate you if you have a good charm like Prince Charming then people will love you right as they see you so let's see charm is fake faction with poo dog sh- what we poo t- oh reputation of course why could I not with that uh, and companions ability cooldown affecting skills Pers- Pursue I'm not sure what pursue means. It's like a uh, personality. I'm not sure. Uh, lie, intimidating, hack, science, inspiration. Uh, temperament. Temperament improves your natural health with generation. Temperament. What? Shouldn't that be part of the or whatever? Effective skill. Two hand uh, melee lie sneak medical engineer determination. Two health regeneration passing. I should probably have at least one of those. So get some health all the time. Um so I should probably one two I could get one 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 in each. Uh, but the problem is I really don't know what kind of characters that is the game and how to go so because this is the way our first time how is good metabolism high likelihood of digesting so tuna what <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> those I should probably go up with that's that's a uh, given <sighs> what was uh, critical wait a minute no you know what I should have one of these so I can hit carry a little more. This one. It's not really important right now. It would whether I have Nah whether I have one of these. This one is not really care. The worst thing is I really want to go up in the mole.
It will be hard. You know what? I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, I don't really think charm. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna take one in each. Uh, since the first time, and I'll show up what how to balance uh, characters when the first time I'm playing. So let's just take one of these to uh, make it more balanced. So I get two points to go up in something special, like I, I want to go up in winch. A crack shot, capital. Uh, what? Let me see what a uh, dialogue. Even says. Oh my god, I need to read this. Melee, skill and pawn, critical hits, each point melee of death, I don't know about. Wayne, improved weapon, wave and hit critical hit with Wayne's weapon. Each point, Wayne's significant handguns. Defense. Uh, I only have two. Dialogue. Improve your ability to talk with NPCs. Non-playable characters, by the way, for people who don't know what NPCs mean. Uh... I don't care about stealth. I don't care about tech. Leadership. I don't care about leadership. You know what? I'm gonna take dialogue and I I'm gonna take. I hope we haven't reach. lost that silver tongue to frostbite. Because, like I said, I don't know about this game, but if dialogue give better, what? Uh, ah, that was presuming. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take those. I'm gonna take those. Uh, I could also take the fins, but I would rather uh, could talk better with NPCs. They can be give you a uh, little adventures in the beginning of the game. At least if the uh, mechanics are balanced wise. Like I said, I never played this game. I never seen any gameplays of this game. So I had no fucking idea how it works. And I mean, no fucking idea. Uh, uh, I need to do this. I need to do this. Also, I need to turn down the sound. I have done that. Uh, this. And I need to do this. Oops. Let's put this button over here. What? Is someone just. Uh, uh, let's do this. Ah, sorry. Just so I can see that we do this actually wanting. Uh, our life to actually want it. Uh, let's see here. What is this? Epic juice. Do I, how many do I have of those? You're anyway, so much okay. more than your designated person. Sound like a nice entry level career for a person of your skills. In spending humanity ways by civili civilizing the cosmo frontier, frontier was a Ambitious enough without worry about your day job. You had the rest of your life to do the to decide how to be useful in Hello Cry. So get okay, one in determination. Okay, what's this? Previous service technique. The Hello colony needs good people, but it will sell for one who can mix a Memorable drink as a human cocktail shaker. <laughs> human cocktail shaker. <laughs> cocktail. Uh, you made a conscient. Con. What? Con. Con. Oh, how do I say that? Con. Concussion. Concussions. Uh, that could end wars or fuel. Skip drives. You still trying to balance out the flavor of. A truly si signature old fashioned though. What the fuck? What's this? When. Barricade when one. I hate barricades. I'm not even gonna read that one. I really hate barricades. 
bæv, 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 kat, bæv, nu er der ikke engang sige det, bæv, kvat, bæv, kvats. <laughs> Cashier, hey, that's me. Uh, no transition is finished without a smile. You li- your life for the culture of a bit. Can we getting inside, insert a white side of the redemption of your loyalty point and promise a good day. Come back, we'll soon. You know what? Fuck everything else. At I'm least you know the value of money. Yes, I know the value of money. <laughs> food affection duration plus three. So when I eat food, I get three. Let me see what the shock damage engineer touch. Food affection. Damage received. Respiration medical. Plasma damage received. Safety structure. Science. You know you're gonna just gonna take the one. I'm a cashier. A cashier. Uh, female or male? Hmm. Funny facts. Many males chose female gender when playing uh, RPG games. And many. I don't know if many female actually play male characters. <laughs> I think they do, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna take male at the first as since my first game through. Uh, hit. Skin tone. Uh, that was really white. This one. Oh my fucking god! I call us wet. Ooh, I like wet. I wet. I have blue. Uh, whoa! Can I get wench? Oh my fucking god! That is a really. Can I get black? There's not enough wool. Not the more gray. Queen. Oh my god! What is that purple and pink? Oh my fucking god! That's crazy. Ooh, that's blue, yellow, uh, white, blue, green. Oh my eyes! Ah. I gotta take blue. Oh, green, blue. You know what? I guess I'm gonna the one. Blue. Eye size, face with jaw, mouth size with those nose, no tail, no eyes, no cheeks, hair. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Yes. Ah, wow, ah, ah, okay, okay. What the fuck? Is that a male or female? Not a female. Oh my fucking god. Who the f. Is this the computer just wanking on the side or is someone pre build those cows? Oh, fuck the old man. Oh my god. What? Well, well, oh my god, somebody shoot me! Those are some one most ugly face I ever seen, man. Oh my god, shoot me. What? Could you have a horn? What the fuck? That looked like a vampire, not the one, the two one before. Why does it look like a fucking zombie? Oh my god. Don't really use... If you could have horn, why, why, why don't you use it more? You know what? I think this one is a more perfect one and we just gonna change the eyes color. Uh, and skin tone to something like this. And eye color here. I want the one pink and purple. Wasn't that one pink and purple? That one was fucking epic. What? Ah, oh, fuck it. You guys can't say blue then. Uh, what's your name? My name is Keeper! Fuck boy! Alright, oh, nice. snowball. Keep a snowball. Uh, so let's see here. Put this ring. Blah blah blah. Cashier. LA. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. I don't know if I would call it lucky, but 
Get out of here! Get out of here! Before the guards! Please power down your engines and prepare to be bootlickers. Not likely, bootlickers. Not likely, bootlickers. That would be better. Initiate skip jump. Skip. Don't you mean... Why that's called skip jump? That's more like, oh, what's it called? Hyper hyperspeed? Hyperspace? Yeah, they have to be hyper. Hyperspeed, right? Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down to 90%. <sighs> drive Shit. What the fuck is going on? Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? What the fuck? Unfortunately, You're I fucking crazy, man. Chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Did you now, my cast all is this in my head? But I've just I've woke up. I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Uh, I have just got a nip -miss. Oh, we'll see how. Villas. A six to three. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. The smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there <laughs> holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. <laughs> but send him to plant and move away. Don't stand there and hold the goddamn thing. <laughs> uh, let's see how we do this. Inventory. Oh, fuck you. I don't need any help. Because I'm a fucking newbie. Uh, okay. Health. Oh, stop doing that. Maybe I should have turn off tool skip, tool tips. Sometimes I actually like to find out things about myself. 
That's why I sometimes I can play a game for four years and still don't know everything about it. <laughs> uh, how do I talk? Normally it's C or V. I control. What the fuck are you? You have to be the most ugly creature ever seen. <laughs> oh, um, I'm already lost. <laughs> ah. What the fuck is that? Yes. Are you losing your legs? What? The? I heard that. I think I have to kill those. I don't think I want to fight with those. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Did you see me? I don't fight you. What the fuck is going on? What is this? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. And what was those side effects? Ah! Ah! A leg! I broke my leg! Hey, you! Come here! You've tried the best now! Now try the rest! Spacer's what? choice! Huh? Oh, wow, that stings. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Ah, uh, they're called Spacer's Choice. Okay. I was confused there for a moment. <laughs> what the fuck did he mean? Okay, they're called Spacer's Choice. Okay. Uh, how are you feeling? What happened to you? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just barely scraped by with my life. <laughs> Crawled in here and blocked off the exit what? with those canisters. Did you shoot yourself? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. This is what I mean about the... Uh, not counting the bullet in my side. Like here, that. you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. If All you... Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. <laughs> Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Oh my god. I'm gonna give you a headache. Uh, when you can convince NPCs to do stuff for you from the beginning, then you have an easier time going. And that will make the game easier for you down the road. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Salt tuna? Isn't that just tuna with salt? Blah. I don't mind tuna, but... Is that Ooh. some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? What? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Come... Okay, that's gonna look bully with the way he holding it. Shouldn't they have fixed something about the animation? That will weird animation. Okay. Ah, uh, will be weird animation. Ah, uh, let's see here. Reloading. Can I shoot him? I feel like I want to shoot him. What this? I don't know. I'm gonna take it. Hello, move. I wanna take what it was behind you. Damage my ears! Ugh. 
Piece of junk. <laughs> uh, doing completion steaming from being revived after extra habitat, your brain processes time different. Process it take that technical time d dilation TD TTD button slows down the world, giving you time to think. Okay, nice. So if Things are going a little so fast for me, I can. Who the fuck is dying over here? I don't know how I tell this stuff is, but just give it, give it, give it to me anyway. Is that bananas? What they call bunch of nanas. <laughs> nanas. Bunch of nanas. Uh, cool stuff. I don't know what that do, but mm, anyway. What? Huh? So I have to look at his head. Didn't I just shoot someone over here? Oh, he's here. What the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, what the fuck is this? Staff. Ah. <laughs> nice. What? How the fuck did you not hear me? I get here. Uh, how does this one have more ammo? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. What does this give me? Tech skill bonus five. Stealth bonus five. Why do I have stealth? Fuck tech. Fuck tech no. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, like uh, this game is just fucking killing us. G CPU man, a uh, GPU man. Oh, Ooh, level two. Uh, okay. Uh, every time you level up, you earn skill points. That's given. Uh, to spend on improving your skills. What else do you use skill points for? That's why they're called skill points. Uh, spending a skill point on a core skill. Does it mean core skill like as a main skill? I guess main main skill when the case core skill. Why don't you just call it main skill? Anyway, melee. Improve all the specialized skills in that group. Up to maximum of 50. After 50, you can add point directly to specialized skills up to 100. So, you like have... You have... Um, that's why I, why I call it main skills and core skills. Anyway, you have this main skill, like they say melee. You can go up in 50 in melee. So, when you get melee, you get a sub skill. Or I would say more like a pro skill. You got maximum level now. You can specialize like in different stuff like maybe swords and staff and you know sub skills so you go up and specialize in sword only so you 
if you have a sword in hand, you can do extra much damage uh, than all this 50 and go all the way up to 100. That's kind of neat. Neat. So like if you go up in weapons, then you can go up in pistol after 50, go up in pistols and maybe heavy weapon, maybe sniper wife, whatever, is they have as sub skills. That's, I think that's, I would like that. That's really a new way to do things. Uh, Every skill improve as this grows, but special unlock bonus occur every 20 points. We use each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and statue effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. So like if you're hungry, you may get lower stamina and some other, maybe you hit less good. Or if you eat poison, you miss life, and something like that. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Maybe I should have put some co uh, coke and cola like that before I drink. <laughs> Whoa, one. <warm. laughs> I can do that, but I didn't expect it. Ah, I didn't expect it. <laughs> ah, yeah, whatever. So let's see here. Uh, should I go up with defense this time? Hmm. No, you know what? Oh, oh, um, this kind of guy. Oh, I have nine. Okay, I have nine point. Eight points. So we got two of the defense. One of the guns. Uh, leader shift two. Maybe one more oven guns. No, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. I wish there was more skills uh, available. That would be really good, really cool. Uh, then we have peaks. I don't really want to wait that because I have a good idea what peaks are. Uh, when alone in a party, so if you join a party and everyone leaves and you're the only one left, then you do 25 more damage? That don't make sense. Why would you even be alone in a party that don't give a fucking... Pinion kills... Ah, uh, so every time your companion are killing somebody, you get 50% of the HP. That's actually a really neat peak, especially if you use uh, companions uh, companion, companions a lot. Oh my god, that's kind of cool. Uh, carry more. What the clock even? I don't even know what the clock is. Uh, I forgot to turn off the video on my mobile. Yeah, yeah, we was uh, gonna respond to you later. Uh, I need to talk to Peter first. Uh, where is the... Did it? Oh, yeah. I forgot to turn off Facebook, I didn't. Uh... Oh my god, can I jump to where I did that now? Thank you. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Uh. So, uh, either tick. I want one of those two. There's twenty percent. That's also nice that I can save twenty percent of everything I buy. Hmm. But I only had three peaks. <sighs> I don't know. 
Can I change my peak clicker? I don't know. You become effective in some point of good. Maybe you should have been born as a carry hauler. Unlock this ability to fast, fast travel when input. So if I have too much on my, I can fast travel. Or we just carry a lot more on me. Ah, that's. I have a, I have it easy. So I am not a good player. So I don't think health will be a problem. I don't hope anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? What's <laughs> my experience? Fuck it, fuck it. I'm gonna take this one. I saw that. I saw that. Uh, one, two, and three. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Let's take this one first. Hiding. Arm was that? What the fuck? Then I I'm confused. Maybe it was his arm. Huh? Did they? I think they killed the creature. Uh, where's some way? Some way I could see all the bodies I have shot. <laughs> I cannot remember why I shot them. I only found two bodies with all the three I shot. One. Is that plants? Ah, what for? Fuck you. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear. Oh, that was the hand I shot. In the last one there. Okay, fine. Let's go on board. I have no more shot in this one. Uh, do you know? Well, uh, I have a lot of pistols. 22, 22, 22, 22. Oh, nice. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. What? I thought that Smile mean. for my surveillance device, Marauder. <laughs> I am tracking your every move. <laughs> Smile for the camera. I'm not a Marauder, but whatever. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. <laughs> Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. <laughs> <laughs> I like this robot. I so much love this robot. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five. Four, oh, you are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. What? <laughs> this vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. 
Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, I have one and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. Okay. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks AD. of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. This time? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I get it, I get it. I get it. Uh, why did you print that shit? Did I just... The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. What can I do for you, Captain? I'll Goodbye. Be back. I'll be back. Didn't you just print something or am I... Only one nonsense. What the f I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Oh, Town know. sent me here about to Space check on the guards. Spacer's Choice. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Hmm? <laughs> Might have got have a bit of echolocation, you see. Nah, the guy actually brutally shot themselves while on patrol. I don't like you, Aaron. Hmm, altercation, you say? Yeah, shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. <laughs> Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. <laughs> Can't just leave company property scattered about and laid down on the dirt. What the fuck? I could use that gear. No sense of letting Gustav go and I'm a ghost wait. Good yeah. And clean up the ship while you're at it. Is that an official Spacer's Choice spacecraft on an official Spacer's Choice landing pad? Do I look like an auto mechanical sanitation unit? Yes. The answer to both questions is yes, no. no. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your uh let's just say Aggressive disposition. <laughs> oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Don't get paid bits to chat with strangers. You want to chew the rag? Go talk to Silas over by the cemetery. What the fuck? Those people are fucking crazy, man. But this choice. But the space choice is choice, so. That they need to be crazy. Space of choice. How the fuck? Who the fuck come up came up with that name? Space of choice, my ass man. Those bodies are flying really fucking long sometimes. Did I just get armor to this one? No. Bits. Bits and pieces. Ta da 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 da. Okay. Off. 
fucking lag. This game takes fucking most PC power if I only had like 60, uh, 76 fucking frame per second. What the fuck is this? Is that the cemetery? Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Ooh, nice, Hold right there. there! Hold it! What the? What's this about? Not Willie? Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder's disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. Hauling corpses? You don't corpses. want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Hmm, this ain't no work. You offer me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. What the fuck does He's over by like the landing zombies. pad. Yeah? They need to put more alive uh, humanoid uh, emotion into them than look like fucking robots or fucking zombies. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. This is exactly how someone who has been brainwashed by a company sound like. I mean, what? I mean, that sincerely. If you have been brainwashed by a company, you will sound like this. You will say the company are the best, even though they treat you like fucking dog shit. You will say like, look at how uh, Apple fan talk about Apple. I mean, that's what I talk about when you talk about fucking brainwashing. Because how can you love a company that don't care about you? And it doesn't matter what company. If the company don't fucking care about you, why should you support it? Why should you work for them? Why should you even be there? I mean, what the meaning of it? As I can see why I should should support or work for a company that don't care about me. Unless I don't care about them, of course. <laughs> Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. <laughs> uh, 20, 30... Carry the one, uh... All my life. My life. <laughs> Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Why should they do that? Former people, yeah. Marauder's been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. Can I? I can really go for some salt tuna. What the hell for you of you guys the fucking salt tuna? Really Shut up, I don't wanna hear more about your fucking salt tuna. 
You fucking tuna with salt, that's what it is. How fucking hard is it to make, I mean, really, you fucking tuna with salt. Oh, why is it that this in fucking heavy? I'm not gonna read all this shit. Not because I don't care about the dogs, but I fucking hate it. Give me a fucking way to fucking, uh, what they call the text reading. So it can read the text for me. Like this. Oh, I don't care. I love law in a game, but I need someone to read it for me. I cannot sit down and read. I cannot. No, it doesn't. That's why I don't play uh, Moment. I really love Moment. Moment is uh, really good game. I have been playing Moment on the original Xbox when it came out. I've been using hours and hours of the game, but sitting down and actually reading anything, I cannot do that. It. You don't know how much hours I've been playing this thing, and even. I will not say complete, you cannot complete the game. But I've been getting really high level and I have think I never even read most of what it was going on in that game because I cannot sit down and read. I cannot do that. I need something to read for me. If sometimes it takes reading program, I would be happy for that. I don't fucking care the sound or function, just read the fuck text for me. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. Don't fucking see. Can you even? It would be fun Give to try to see, kill everybody. No see what happened. Is that a barber? They look like a barber. Ooh, is that Netflix? Yes. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop <laughs> wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling what with germs. germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. No, thank you. That's quite all right. <laughs> I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. What? You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. How do I do that? Just look like a fucking zombie. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. <laughs> this is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. <laughs> I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the <laughs> mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. <laughs> what do you mean by vicar? Vicar Maximilian. Our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or what so you'd expect. God, man. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. What? <laughs> as broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, <laughs> I expect Silas to toss That's my body into a drop. <laughs> Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. <laughs> Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. What are you? I... Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. 
Much obliged. Must oblige. Mm. Why do I have all this thing in there? I can't even steal it. Oh, senses. Yes. I think I can talk to him now. What can I do for you? You know about Eugene? How? Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body, and all rare earth minerals contained therein, are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? The good Vicar Maximilian and I have never quite seen eye to eye, but your point is well taken. Here you are, gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. <laughs> and an IOU. <laughs> Ooh, Had your rations yet? Yep. Two whole cans of saltuna. Well, shut up with your fucking saltuna, man. I don't fucking care. Just too much. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Sure there is. We can have another zero G. I don't know you. Hmm. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. <laughs> Baby, I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Oh, yes, hmm. I do. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Coming right up. Coming right up? What? Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate with price at when buying and selling from vendors. Oh, nice, nice. So, the better you are to talk like charm, the better the price will be. Mm, how much money do I even have? Uh, okay, the 102. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. You tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Go ahead. I don't see how that's any of your business. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's work spacer's choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want important ones like when are you gonna pay your tab and would you like another round of cold refreshing zero g
Hmm. Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. <laughs> Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. <laughs> no, they don't. Glasses don't fill themselves either. Unless uh, you're really? in Byzantium. Really? I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. Really? I so, know. what's your story? That right. Prove it. Uh. <laughs> uh. Sounds as if you've been keeping questionable company. Are spinning a tail? You're right. I don't believe you. I'd advise you to keep that story unsaid. Don't want people thinking you're a loon. Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. Most folk forget where they're standing after a few drinks. Seems to me you've got a head start. <laughs> Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. When I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know, people will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. I think the first one is white. There you go with that thinking again. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's dangerous? Didn't everyone tell enough. you that it is People come here to drink their dangerous problems away. to live your life for other six? Problems. They'd go see our vicar. Ugh. Don't like girls like Give me the creeps. Staying long? Carry on. Staying. Sorry. I got. I've right. never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to. to, uh. <laughs> where am I again? Edgewater. Jewel of the Vale. May the law bless our beloved cannery with a hundred years of, uh... What's it called? Productivity. That's the one. Yep, that's us. Productive. I am in no condition to do any work. <laughs> Not so long as my injuries trouble me. Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded Mitch? my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but... I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. What? How the fuck that, that, did that make sense? That's like a surgeon just for your hair. What the fuck? Sorry. I got a... Hey. Yes. Sorry. Move along. <laughs> Are you coming after me? I want to steal everything because I can. Is that a bit? Yes. 
What does the clock say? Uh, I should probably go down and buy something before I get too fucking late. Also, I've been playing for an hour now. So that should be just a while time. About time. You know what? Something inside the walls today. You think? I think that should be a good time to save. Nothing for us outside. 